Hello and welcome to Make Family History 7. Uh, give us a like below and help us out a bit. And I want to talk to you today about a follow-up on the cemetery visit I did the other day. It's a place called Loudon Park Cemetery. And when we got there, what we found were that the roots from one of the trees were encroaching on my grandparents' pedestal and turning it, you know, tilting it, making the top stone start to slide off or worse than it was before. Uh, also, two other tombstones that belong to my great, great, great grandparents uh, have fallen over, or they've been pushed over, or they just were never glued correctly. Uh, there they are lying on the ground. They're in one piece, so I'm hopeful that we can get a reasonable price to get them put back up. So, uh, first thing I did was call a memorial service, a place that does headstones and gravestones. And we know these people. They actually did the gravestone for my grandparents on that lot. And we know them because my father was fraternity brothers with the owner's son. And uh, they were getting a quote together. They're going to run out and they're going to look at the plot. And they did ask me about where it was, even though I gave them the section number and everything. It, they're going to check that out. And they also made a suggestion very kindly. They said, call the cemetery first and check to make sure that there's nothing they can do first. Now, I happen to know from a previous visit that the old lots are not in perpetual maintenance. The plot, the whole area, the whole plot, it's like a rectangle, was purchased by Mrs. Sophia Mitchell, who is my third great-grandmother, came in from uh, Scotland and Ireland. They came over, and she buried her husband in 1855. And what they're saying is that they were using third parties uh, to get people to sell the plots, and those were sold without perpetual maintenance. Though so Loudon doesn't allow it to, to fall to pieces, it's just not the maintenance that you would hope for. And we go over there occasionally to clean up the plot. So I did call the cemetery back and they're going to take a look at it. They've opened up a work order and they said it's very possible that the lot or the part that's being pushed by the tree, that would be my grandparents pedestal that's being pushed by the tree, might be a cemetery issue and I wouldn't have to pay for that. Yay! Okay. Uh, they're also going to take a look at the other ones that have fallen and see if they can do that or if they can give me a quote if it's not included in what they actually do. So I've got two, the cemetery and the memorial service um, company going over there, taking a look, giving me a quote, and I will let you guys know what was the best deal in a future video. So that was, a, aside from cleaning up the lot, uh, went ahead and called the cemetery again and called another service that can help with the tombstones. So that was the procedure used to see if we can fix this up. Okay? You guys have a good day.